Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Delighted to be joined by El Animal, Philippe Hergovic. How are you, sir? How are you? Philip? Something with connection, huh? Yeah, it just froze. Try again. Okay, now. It it interrupts when you say El Animal videos, internet gets scared. <laughs> okay, we'll try again. Cougar Cassius, <laughs> IFL TV, MTK Global. Delighted to be joined by El Animal, Philip Hergovic. How are you, sir? Very good. Thank you for this call. No problem, no problem. What have you been doing today? Have you been training? Yeah, I have a little rest. I had fight 10 days ago, so I'm... Uh, I'm at training, but easy, nothing special. Let's talk about your fight with uh, Rodel Booker. Uh, were you pleased with the performance? Yeah, I, I'm satisfied because I first man to stop him. And uh, yeah, I'm satisfied. He's uh, not a top uh, level opponent. But uh, it was good performance, and like I said, I stopped him, and he had good, good opponents before, and no one stopped him. What did you say to him after the fight? You're too old. <laughs> yeah, I told him I don't want to have you on my soul. You know, I don't want to kill you because <laughs> because uh, he has. Many, many, he's old and I, I, I refer it is good job, man. Usually you wouldn't hear it because there's a crowd, but because there's no crowd, we heard you say it. Yeah, but we are friends. He was in Miami, we sparred a lot and we, we are friends. He's, he didn't offend, I didn't offend him. It was a little joke. All good, all good. Um, so now it seems to be for you and also Mr. Michael Hunter, that's the fight that has really kind of got everyone talking about now, Hergovic and, and Hunter. So you want that fight? Yeah, man, now when I was waiting uh, for your call, I fall, fall asleep. That's why I was uh, late a few minutes. And then I had a dream that Michael Hunter signed a contract to fight with me. But it was only only a dream, you know. And now I wake up and uh, in the reality, he don't want to fight me. He's, uh, he's a little bit scared or I don't know, I don't know what. So I hope so. He will sign contract soon and stop be an uh, Instagram boxer. Philip, has your team then, I'm, I'm uh, um, assuming that your team have sent a contract to Michael Hunter? Yeah, yeah, they're in uh, real negotiations. But like I said, it's some, some uh, problem with their side. And uh, we are very, very, we will very, very like to make that fight happen, but uh, his side, I don't know what's going on, so uh, I, I want to send him a message, let's make that fight, don't be afraid, it's going to be short, you're not going to feel nothing, you will just, you will just uh, fall 
into sleep and wake up in hospital. It's not gonna hurt. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Philip, to your understanding, why why hasn't he signed the contract yet then? Have have you been given a reason why there's a delay or there's a possible issue? I don't know. I, I don't know details, but I just uh, I spoke with Kale today and um, he said they are pushing hard to make that fight happen, but uh, it's some problem with the uh, other side. I think uh, he don't want it uh, deep in his soul because I think he know I will beat him. I, I see only that reason. Well, Michael Hunter has been openly offering to fight the likes of Tyson Fury for free. And um, we know that's obviously not realistic as in terms of financial, but he's been putting himself out as opponents for quite a few people um, over the last uh, few weeks and months. So, but this fight with yourself is a, is a great fight. I think all the fans agree that this is one of the fights that they'd like to see between yourself and, and Michael Hunter. Yeah, I think as well that it will be a great fight because we are very, both were very brave and very good uh, boxers and uh, throw a lot of punches. And uh, I think it will be a great fight and great uh, test for both of us. And uh, I'm feeling uh, very ready for that what fight. Philip, sorry, what other fighters are there out there that you are targeting for 2021? I think uh, Michael Harter is not our main goal now. I don't know for other negotiations, but I just know about him. So I uh, maybe they maybe Tim Sauerland talk with someone else in the same time if this uh, not happen. But uh, for me, I know only for for Hunter. So. And I'm very, very excited and very happy if that fight, uh, if that fight will happen. Okay. Um, Philip, I will have to ask, are you at all interested in a future fight with Alan Babbage? Am I interested? In a future fight with Alan Babbage. Yeah, but... Uh, I think uh, he need uh, to win a few more fights. He need to make, uh, to have a few better uh, fighters, to beat few few uh, better fighters and to step up in opposition. And maybe if he remain undefeated in, uh, let's say maybe, still uh, one year or something like that, maybe that fight uh, find a place in uh, in Croatia one day. But uh, I think he will not stay undefeated. I think even now in Saturday, I think Tom Little will beat him. You believe Tom Little will beat Alan Babbage on Saturday? Yeah, I think. Because uh, Tom Little is a better boxer and but his uh, problem is, is that uh, he was not well, very well prepared in before and he had a tough opposition he he fought me and dubois and uh, Megido and all top top uh, fighters but now i uh, like i saw he's he's very well prepared and i think he's he has a better quality than babic why why is there a, a a dislike between you and alan what reason from my side it's from not your side, uh, yeah. from my side it's not dislike he's dislike from his side 
because in uh, Croatia it's small country you know and uh, he realized every time when he mentioned my name that he go into newspapers and on the TV and he he never was on TV before he's 30 years old he's uh, he never had any results in amateurs and no one uh, no one know about him and now he start to use my name and to to do this cheap cheap uh, trash talk and uh, he got in the all newspapers so i think that's the reason that's only reason but from my side it's no some special dislike i just think he's he's limited as a boxer he's uh, don't have good qualities to be top level heavyweight not because he's everyone can see he's too small he's too slow he's uh, he's uh, not good a technician and he's only good in first few rounds he throw a lot of punches first few rounds but uh, like i said when he step up in uh, opposition i think he will lose well that fight i'm in the matchroom bubble now so that fight takes place uh, this saturday but uh, just coming back to yourself philip we hope that you guys can work a deal out for that fight with michael hunter because it's a uh, it's a, it's a great fight, and I'm sure, um, like I said, the fans would love to see that fight between you and Michael. Yeah, and it will be decision point in, uh, I mean, my first uh, big fight. And if I beat him, I go to the, uh, in the, the top rankings in the all, all uh, sanctioning bodies and... Uh, we we it will be good good step for me to become mandatory challenger and uh, it's really important fight for me and i'm really really like i said i'm really really happy to to make that fight happen and i hope so i hope so michael accept the challenge Okay, we'll we'll speak to Kala about it when there's an update. We'll speak to uh, Kala Sarland about it as well. So, yeah, we hope it happens. Um, have you got anything else you'd like to say, Philip? Did you have sparring? What happened with your left eye? Um, no sleep. Uh, <laughs> no sleep. Yeah. Okay, man. Go Does it look sleep. like I've been punched in the eye? <laughs> it looked a little bit like it's you dark. can spy. Yeah, I've got dark got circles under my eyes. <laughs> I haven't been punched. Okay, that's good. No better, one... better, better not sleep than getting punched. Get sparring. No one <laughs> near me in sparring. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, Philip, thank you very much for your time this evening. Much appreciated, and hopefully, we we'll get to talk to you again really soon. Thank you, man, for your call and see you soon. All the best and God bless you. Take care. Thank you very much, Philip Ergovic. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debts.